Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, and all the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh Baisham, Yahweh Shai, Baisham, Mahavakakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning and in the hopes of being saved within these last days because you know we're in the last days right it's going to be a quickie right remember we need to be consistent when it comes to this truth a lot of things are happening this is just going to be based on Yahweh Shai and the lawgiver let's start on Isaiah 33 and jump straight to 22 it says for the Lord Yahweh, when you see the Lord Yahweh in capitals, it means that means the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Alright? Is our judge. Alright? Or we can say the Lord Yahweh where Yahweh Shai. Okay. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. The Lord Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? Is our law giver. The Lord Yahweh Shai is our king. So Yahweh Shai, which they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, right? He's a king. And a king is also known as a lawgiver. And he will save us. I looked up that word lawgiver. It said the governor. It said decree. So that's what a lawgiver does. He gives a decree also. Okay. And it says, and he will save us. All right. So we went to that. Go to the next one now. Jump straight to verse. Oh, another thing. When it said save, he will save us. It said from moral troubles to give victory. So he's going to give his elect that victory. And from troubles. All right. So now we went to that. Let's go to Genesis as well. Genesis, I think it's 49. Genesis 49. And jump straight to verse 9. Alright. Let's get straight to the point. But go to verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Key thing. Scepter. Why does one have a scepter? To rule. Right. You have a scepter in your hand when you're ruling. Right. So the scepter not shall depart from Judah. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. That word lawgiver pops up again. And to Silo come unto him shall be the gathering of the people shall be. Silo means peace, by the way. All right? Until there be peace. Until him shall the gathering of the people be. Binding his fowl unto a vine, and his ass is colt unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, in his clothes, and the blood of grapes. So this is referring to Yahweh Shai. Right? He's going to rule the nations with a scepter. You see how all these precepts link up? That's why when people say... Oh, you, you're only picking what you want to pick. No, I'm jumping from precept to precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. That's how you understand the scriptures. That's how you get the understanding. It's like a puzzle. Right, excuse me just a minute. All right. Just got demons out here, man. Every time you do a video, they want to enter. But that's okay. That's okay. Because if they're not of the elect, they're going to get judged anyway. All right. So we go to Isaiah. All right. And we went to that. Go to Psalms also. Now you, they ain't going to they ain't gonna stop my happiness. <laughs> you know, there's a saying in the world, misery loves company, right? It's, bro, it's just part of the truth, isn't it? You've got people that they want you to be miserable because they're miserable. All the Psalms. Alright. So, should we go Psalms? Look at sure. Psalms 2. And jump straight to verse 9. Right? Go to verse 8. Ask me and I will give thee the heathen for that inheritance. So the other nations, we're going to have them for an inheritance. Yes, nothing is wrong with having slaves and servants. Nothing is wrong with them. Right? Because every kingdom, you need slaves and servants. Okay? And it says, And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession 
So different parts of the earth we're going to be ruling and we're going to possess it. Daf say Yahabai Shem Yahushai. For thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Won't break the nations. With it, yes, if you don't do what, what, what you're told, if you don't follow the laws, we're going to break you with a rod of iron. You're going to be beat with a rod of iron. Right? Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. And you're going to be dashed like a potter's vessel also. Right? <laughs> Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, because we're going to be kings under Yahweh. There's one true king. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord Yahweh with fear, and this is what we ought to do. And we raise with trembling. Serve the Lord with fear. Don't fear what these people can do. Don't fear a little bit of banging. Oh, maybe uh, my handler told me to bang. Maybe if I bang him, he will stop teaching. No. Teach the word. Worry about these fucking imbeciles because the Lord's going to deal with them. Alright? It's funny when I start in videos, they do that as well. Baba Kisha. But these are, remember, these are just spirits that are on people. Remember, their, bra their brains are all fried up. They're MK Ultrad. Right? They're part of lodges, right? So Satan's just using them to do evil. Okay? Let's continue pushing this truth. Okay? And shall break them with a rod of iron. So that's what Yahweh is going to do. And a rod of iron represents a sceptre, by the way. And I want to make this short because I've got some food cooking. <laughs> okay. Maybe just a minute. So we went to that. See if there's anything else. Alright. Um, so we went to Isaiah 30. We went to that. That's pretty much it. Right, so the lawgiver, when you mention it in Isaiah 33, and when you jump to 22, it says, For the Lord Jehovah is our judge, the Lord Jehovah is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. And who is he going to save us from as well? Go to Luke, then we shut off. He's going to save us from our sins, and if we go to Luke 1 and 69. And after this video, yeah, I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them prayers up, man. I'm putting them. Well, we need to pray continually because, bro, there's, wait, there's spirits out here, man. People got spirits, <laughs> right? But I watch, what, when I watch everything you do. Go to Luke one and sixty. Luke one and sixty. Sixty eight. Right. Blessed be the Lord Jehovah Power of Israel, for He have visited and redeemed His people. We have raised up a horn of salvation for us in his house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies. Because we got enemies. When you teach the truth, you gain enemies. You're not looking for enemies, but you gain enemies. Right? And from the hand of all those that hate us. So that's what Yahweh is going to do. Right? The lawgiver is going to save us from our enemies enemies okay and who were the enemies all those that are opposed to Yahweh Shai and this truth okay even a lot of people that go to go to church or say they're Christians oh I'm a Christian when you find out they're not really they're not really true Christians they do what they want to do because a true Christian would repent have faith and do what's pleasing to the Lord Yahweh Shai okay so with this I'm going to shut off here Lord willing this was edifying and until the next time, Shalom.